Hey guys, this is Mackie from TalkAndroid.com and today I'm going to give you guys a review of Falcon Pro. Uh, it's a Twitter client which in my opinion is the best out right now which currently dethroned uh, Plume for me. So, uh, Falcon Pro uh, first of all is made by Joaquin Verges. He's also the creator of the Falcon widget if you guys have ever tried that. So. Um, if you ever tried that, then you know it's very good quality and it's by far a very, very smooth app uh, once you begin. So, <clears throat> to get started, um, once you open the app, you're greeted with your timeline. That's what you see first. And when you look at the top, you have your um, your tab here was when you swipe right, your, your tweet, and you can swipe left. And then you have your three main, which is your timeline your mentions and then your DMs so it's all right there um, you can't swipe through to get to your, your DMs and your your mentions but you can just swipe right and select it through there and that's how you get to it there you go so first off let's go see what's happening here um, you have your Twitter handle your profile picture right there your followers and your how many people you're following your timeline mentions, DM, retweets, favorites, search, and your settings. So when, let's go ahead and go into settings. Um, as of right now, there's not much going on in settings. Just the general stuff like uh, sync and notifications, your refresh rates, um, your push notifications are here. and Or you can silence everything. And I keep it at an hour for refresh rate. So as for display, again, not much going on. Just your inline media preview, which is the preview of photos when you have your uh, timeline. And then your text size, which I set to 13. I think the default is 14, so you can change that yourself. Okay, user experience. Um, this is where you can enable like the the internal browser, um, and then your tweet marker, speed boost. So just you know, not too many options as of yet. And I'm sure you'll add more. You can reset your mutes, and then if you like Falcon Pro, you can give him some love, donate, and some extras, or you can tweet him right there. If you have any questions, feel free to tweet him. He's very. Uh, he answers pretty recent. Uh, he answers pretty often to his uh, followers, actually. So, if you have any questions? Go ahead. Now, to your right, you're brought with your list, which you can create yourself. And searches, if you want to search for something in particular, and then your world trends and your local trends. What I would like to see is uh, hopefully he can change it so that you can change the world trends into like maybe your country trends. So. Um, I'm in the U.S., so hope, like it would be cool if I can just change it to U.S. trends or, you know, Los Angeles trends or whatever. But uh, maybe in the future, who knows? Oops, whoops. But yeah, okay. So now let's get head into the timeline. As you can see, in, within the timeline, you can actually they give you he gives you um, the preview, like a thumbnail preview, right there. And if you click the actual tweet. It gives it single views a tweet, and then you can see the the image right here, which you can you know zoom in, zoom out, and do whatever you like. Um, within a tweet, you can actually reply here. Uh, you can retweet it. You can either native retweet or you can add stuff to it. So that's that. Uh, you can favorite it. You can share it, and you have some more uh, menus here, like open the link. If there's a link, you can block the user, mute the tweet, or delete the tweet. And uh, what's cool is you can actually see the uh, the replies. So if someone tweets something and there's viewers that reply to it, you can actually see it. So that's pretty cool. I like how how he does that. It looks really it looks nice, and um, you know the interface is really good. The thing I like about the interface is it kind of takes uh, part of Google's UI, the Holly UI. You see like the card system here, and then the the gray gradient. So it's really cool. I like the colors. And the well, number one thing about this is that it's very, very smooth. I mean, you can still see images are rendering and, you know, stuff like that. But it's, it's still very smooth, panning from right and left of the tabs. Very smooth again. Okay, so there is an inline browser, which you can actually activate. Okay, not like that. Let me see if I can find a link where you can check the internal browser. Here we go. So it'll if there's a link, it'll automatically load, and there it is. So, and when you scroll down, it kind of 
takes away the tweet and then you can see more of, of the uh, whatever link you're looking at you know and then if you want to use your browser just go and click the link then it'll automatically direct you to your browser there you go so the inline browser is really cool it's really fast and you know it just comes in handy if you don't want to use your whole browser and just you know so that's really cool um, yeah I guess that's mostly it every tweet you see gives you a, a marker of when how long the tweet's been tweeted and if you long press a tweet you're greeted with the same menus or options as if you were to single view a tweet like that and you get the bottom here and there are push notifications so if someone were to mention you it will come up in your notifications and you can actually reply straight from there which is really cool um, but yeah, so when you compose a tweet, all you have to do is to the top right, you can uh, attach a photo, take a photo, geotag it, and yeah. And actually, you can actually save a draft. You can save a draft when you tweet. And if you were to exit out, see, it'll say draft saved. And when you go back, it'll still be there. So that's really cool in case, you know, you're busy doing something and you want to cancel a tweet and save your things. So that's that. Um... To refresh, just pull down and you're greeted with that. So yeah, this is Falcon Pro, just a quick look. Um, it is by Joaquin Verges. I believe it's a, a dollar. I think I paid 99 cents. If not, a little bit more than a dollar. I don't remember it being any more expensive than that, so it's really cheap. And I've had it for about a month now, and he's been updating it very frequently. I think at least three times a week I've seen updates for this app. So he definitely listens to his viewers, he fixed bugs, he adds new features. So it's definitely the app to get. Um, if I were to pick a, um, a Twitter app, it's either this or Plume by far. Those are the two best. And But right now, this one's my favorite. So if you guys like it, definitely give it a shot. And let me know how you guys like in the comment section. Um, but yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys next time.